Hey everyone, today I want to share with you the method I use when making bound buttonholes on leather. Now first we need to decide on the measurements of our final buttonhole. Here is a formula you can use. Buttonhole's length is the button's width plus button's height plus minimum of 5 millimeters. You can add more 7-8 millimeters for an easier slide of the button, especially when using leather because it's thicker. In my example, my button's width was 2.2 centimeters, my button's height was 2 millimeters, and I added 5 millimeters to all this, which is 2.9 centimeters. I should have rounded it to 3 centimeters, but I don't know why I kept going with 2.9. Next, we need to cut out two rectangles, which are called welds. The welds length are going to be our buttonholes length plus two centimeters. In my example 2.9 plus 2 will equal 4.9 centimeters. The width of these rectangles is going to be buttonholes width multiplied by 2. I want my buttonhole to be uh, one centimeter, so it's going to be one multiplied by two equals two centimeters. What we need to do next is interface our welds. After that, we need to fold them in half and iron them. In the next step, I'm joining two pieces of leather. So one imitates the front of the garment, the basic fabric, and the other one is going to imitate the facing of our garment. Now I'm going to mark my buttonhole on the front. I uh, mark the center of my buttonhole and then I mark the beginning of the buttonhole. In this case, uh, it was two centimeters from the edge. This is a good amount for leather garments, but it can change depending on your garment. Then I mark the width of my buttonhole. It's one centimeter in my case and the length, which is 2.9 centimeters in my case. What we need to do next is sew our folded welt to the front. We need to align the row edge of the welt to the center of the buttonhole. Uh, we can mark the length of the buttonhole again, just to be sure everything is precise. The more precise everything is, the more beautiful the final buttonhole will be. Also, I need to mark the center of my welt. This line will guide me when stitching. Now I stitch from the beginning to the end, right on this line that we have drawn. I do the same thing with the second welt, uh, aligning the row edge with the center, marking everything and stitching. I cut all the threads right away so they don't interfere with our sewing. You can see in the back we have two parallel stitches. 
I'm going to draw over them just to make it clearer. After I have marked over them, I draw the buttonhole on the back. This will give me directions when uh, cutting. Now I mark the center of this buttonhole of this rectangle. I use my ruler to be more precise. Then I uh, mark about uh, five, seven millimeters from the beginning and end of the buttonhole and draw lines from them uh, into the corners. This is my guide to cutting. Now I cut from the center. Uh, but make sure you do not cut the welds. I usually hold them uh, with my fingers and always double check when cutting. So I cut the center and stop at the marks that we have done. Then I cut to the edges. Make sure you do not cut any stitches. Mm, it's better to cut less than more. Maybe stop one millimeter away from the corner. What we do now is we need to flip our welts to the back side straighten everything so it looks nice and smooth we need to go to the iron now and iron it the buttonhole will look much much nicer if we do that iron the buttonhole from the back and then from the front don't forget to put a cloth uh, over the leather and uh, do not iron directly next we need to sew this triangle to the welds. Don't make the mistake of sewing this triangle to the basic fabric. I have done it before. Make sure to stitch it uh, only to the welds. And um, if the leather is too thick, you might need a one-sided foot. But honestly, in my case, it was okay to sew with a regular foot. I do it on the other side too and cut all the threads. I'm going to cut my welts a bit, just a tiny bit, maybe two millimeters, uh, because it was interfering a bit with my edge. Now we need to basically make a cut on our facing. What I do with leather, since we cannot baste it, I'm going to stabilize it a bit with a couple of clips. You can even use a hair clip. It is definitely not necessary, it's just an idea. Next, what I do is I need to stitch right on the edges of my buttonhole so the stitches won't be visible. Now, some people stitch one millimeter away from the edge, like out of the edge, uh, and it's going to give you a nice uh, look if that's what you're uh, aiming for. So you will have like a buttonhole with stitches around but in this case I didn't want them to be visible so I stitched right on the edge. You need to be careful in here maybe use a smaller stitch or adjust the stitch length along the way just to make sure you hit every corner
as you can see it looks very nice and we cannot see the stitching from the front we can see the stitch from the back and we need to mark the center of this rectangle in our on our facing it will help us with cutting again we need to cut this center but make sure you you control the welds with your fingers so that you do not cut them so we only cut the facing and this is it the bound buttonhole is ready I hope you found this video useful to you if you have any advices on how I can make my videos better please leave them in the comments I'm open to criticism see you in other videos bye